What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best solo build to farm the most Herba Mystica from the 7 star Mightiest Mark Swampert. I'll be also going over the one turn KO strategy so you and three other friends of yours can farm this in just two turns and it's honestly pretty simple and easy to do. And of course guys, if you like my type of content and enjoy these videos, please Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it and consider supporting the channel by joining PanFam that join channel member button below. Now, a quick breakdown of the raid is the Swampert is a special attacker and a physical attacker. It's running Earthquake, Hydro Pump, Sludge Wave, Liquidation, and it also has Muddy Water and Yawn. Now, the only real trolling moves of this raid is like Muddy Water uh, can lower your accuracy and then getting hit by Yawn means you're gonna have to use a Heal Cheer to get out of it so these are the two moves that are really scary but everything else is relatively standard stuff it is times 30 hp so it isn't that bulky as we originally thought and it also drops irons and urban mystica so you have a 15 percent chance of getting urban mystica also ability patches and all that great stuff now for the one turn ko and it's super easy stuff so we're gonna have mewtwo with life orb and all you need is a modest max special attack max hp with Nasty Plot and Psychic, and that's all you need for Mewtwo. You can also do this Hoopa Unbound, but I like Mewtwo more because that's a little bit more bulk. Now, you need to have an Oranguru with the item Covert Cloak. Covert Cloak makes it so even to get hit by Muddy Water that, you know, you can't miss any of your moves, which is pretty nice in general, but you want max HP, max defense with a bold nature, and the two moves you need is Instruct, which is gonna allow you to make the Mewtwo use Nasty Plot twice on turn one, and then on turn two, you're gonna use Psychic Terrain. Then we're gonna have Mew, and player three and four can run Mew. I'm sure other Pokemon can run it, but Mew is just a great Pokemon. We're gonna have Covert Cloak, and the reason why you like Mew is because it has great overall stats, base 100 across the board, and it has an, uh, Acid Spray. So player three and four are both gonna use Acid Spray. Player three is gonna go for a second Acid Spray, and while player four on turn two is gonna go for an Attack Cheer. Ideally, you're gonna be max HP, max defense of a bold nature. So ignore my special attack max. Just pretend that is a max defense with a bold nature. Downside of Muddy Water is if you get hit by it, it can lower your accuracy. But if you have Cover Cloak on, as all these supports do, that is not gonna be an issue. So we do remove that RNG factor from this raid here. I managed to dodge it because low accuracy move is great. So I'm gonna go for a nasty plot immediately and we're gonna get the instruct on me. And this is gonna allow me to be at plus four. And then we got the two acid sprays off. So he's at minus four and I'm at plus four. So we get hit by Earthquake, but Mewtwo is very bulky. So it's very nice. So now at this point, we get one acid spray going off. We're gonna have an attack cheer go off and then we're gonna have the psychic strain go up. And I'm gonna go for this uh, psychic. Psychic train goes off. I'm gonna hit this big psychic with the life orb. And that is our one turn KO and easy way to defeat Swampert. Pretty chill, super easy, honestly. That's how we do it over here at Panfro Games. And of course, this is gonna be a great way to farm for Urban Mystica with your friends. And we got some Urban Mystica. There you go, salty and sour. And of course, the first drops, you always get the ability patch and the bottle caps and things like that. But yeah. 15% chance to at least get one herb. So it's super nice to farm these if you're still shiny hunting in the game. Now, as Pathra is by far the queen, the Cleopatra, the ultimate bird, the top bird, the best solo build to farm for Urban Mystica for this Swampert raid. So we're gonna go Terra Psychic with the Shell Bell because you need that HP. We're gonna go Modest Nature with max special attack, max defense, and the hidden ability speed boost. And the reason why you want speed boost is because it will increase the speed of your Pokemon by one, which means it's gonna give you an additional stat boost. Now, the reason why we care about that is because our main kill move is stored power. So we're gonna use Calm Mind three times in this raid, right? So Calm Mind can increase our special attack and special defense by three stages each, right? So that's a total of six stat boosts. But passively with speed boost, we're gonna get additional stat boost. And every time we get a stat boost, it will increase stored power's power by 20 damage and you can see how crazy this will get we'll be clearing like 140 damage easily with this and the other reason why i love this pokemon is we have the move signature move luminian crash it goes through shields and drops special defense by two it's stab super effective and it's going to be phenomenal in this raid in general 
And yes, we are a little bit frail, but you know, even in a solo situation, whatever raid partners you get, this ostrich will be able to clear. And now let's go to my demo. All right, so here's our solo build. Ooh, I also have to mention, this works online too, but it works great in solo as well. So it doesn't really matter who your raid partners are, but it's nice to have Intimidators. It's always nice to have Belly Bolt, then Dunspar, Steam to Paralyze, Sylveon, Umbreon, just, you know, some bulky mons that can heal, like Gardevoir too. So we got Muddy Water that hit us, and that's okay. It didn't drop our accuracy, which is great. If it drops your accuracy, uh, maybe reset. So we're gonna go for Reflect on Fern, because we actually plan on dying. And that's okay, because if we die, it makes the raid a lot easier. So we're at a low 33, which is pretty good. And now we're gonna go for Luminium Crash. This is gonna build up some Terra Charge, lower the special defense by two. And when we die this turn, he's gonna get his shields up. He's also gonna remove our stat buffs, which is great because we, don't, we barely have any. So we wanna get that out of the way early too. So we're gonna die here. And now we're in a perfect situation. And he crit me for extra measure. All right, so he's gonna do a lot of things now. So since we're dead, he has no Terra Orb to steal from us. We dodge that. His shields go up. Laminian Crash goes to shields, so we don't have to really care about that. And then he's going to remove our ability and stat changes, which are already dead. So we have now dodged all the BS of the raid. And we're going to go for Calm Mind three times in a row. And it's very important to go for this Calm Mind three times in a row. And you don't need to do any more Calm Minds. Now, this is a stored power set. So Calm Mind three times is six bucks. Those three turns of buffing is going to give us three uh, speed boosts. So we're going to have nine buffs, and store power does 20 more damage per buff you have. So that's going to be like 180 damage plus the base 20. So that is going to be a 200 damage base move at the moment we go for a store power on turn four. However, we actually are going to go for Luminian Crashes first because we do want to lower that special defense even lower because he's only minus two, and we, I prefer to get him at minus six. So we're gonna go for another uh, calm mine here. So this is our third calm mine, and then I'm gonna start going for crashes. And the other great thing about crashes is, of course, it charges our Terra Orb while we lower the special defense. It is one of the best moves in Pokemon, just straight up. It is just an insane move in general. But yeah, Hydro Pumps don't really matter when you're plus three on the uh, special defense point and you have good bulk in general. So we're going to go for crashes. We need to do two more crashes. This is going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, it's going to give us some nice uh, HP sustain here. So a little bit of healing is going to come through. Uh, you know, like put us back in the green. That's pretty nice. Uh, Hydro Pump. Of course, if he misses, it makes our lives easier. If he crits, uh, that's not great. But, you know, that's, it's always never great if someone crits you. So the yawn happens. And the yawn did not hit me. If you do get hit by Yawn, 25% chance that happens, you're gonna have to go for a heal tier when you go to sleep. And you go to sleep at the end of your second turn. So keep that in mind. All right, so it is now time that we start popping off. We're gonna tear a charge, stored power into this Swamper. All right, so we're gonna hit battle here, Terra, store power and we are gonna be plus three, plus three special attacks, plus defense, plus five speed. S stab, super effective, Terra boosted versus a minus six uh, special defense, Terra poison swamper. This is gonna do a crap ton of damage. This is new all on. We're gonna be hitting a tactical nuke on this swamper from orbit. EC 130 dropping this. Dear Lord, it is literally almost dead. It is gone. And if you had better raid partners, it's essentially over. Like, if I, my raid partners really didn't do that much. Damage, Arcanine just keeps on like, you know, dying, Axorus or whatever. But yeah, that's essentially the raid. That is really fast, you know? And don't forget, we died on purpose. So the raid timer is a little bit lo is lower than it really should be. And then we just go for one more sword power. We don't even care at this point. We can we can throw a little feather at this Swamper. It'll be in the Shadow Realm. But there you have it. Best solo build for the 7-star Mightiest Mark Terra Poison Swampert. No one else does it like this. No one is this fast. And it works great in solo, great in multiplayer. Do not underestimate the big bird Cleopatra.
Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you really appreciate it. And look, we got that Herba Mystica on point too. Farm that Herba. Good luck and have a good one.